Hey guys, it's me Samantha here today and I am filming an Ulta haul. My birthday was last month and I purchased a bunch of stuff online and I finally have everything. There were so many things that were like shipped separately so it's been trickling in and so finally I have everything and I wanted to film a haul. If you are new to my channel, my name is Samantha. I am a makeup enthusiast. Makeup is my therapy. If you feel the same way, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get updated on my future videos. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to show you guys are kind of like the bigger items because I try to like put everything in this um, bag here. So I did get a bunch of things from the new Disney Pixar collab with Ulta Beauty and I picked up these Monster Ink sponges. Um, I know a lot of people think all these collabs are silly and sometimes they are even to me but all the Pixar stuff reminds me of my kids and so for that like I have a special place in my heart for them so I did pick up these sponges I've never had an Ulta sponge so I'm excited I wish that they had like the characters on the sponge but they're just plain sponges that's okay it's still cute the packaging is adorable so I did pick up that I also picked up the Finding Nemo brush set. Um, it's really, really cute. I don't need any more brushes, but I couldn't help myself. They look super adorable with the handles. So I did pick this up. Now the bag itself here that I stuffed everything inside is part of the Pixar um, collab as well. It says, you've got a friend in me this is part of the toy story collab and the inside is like cow print which is just like little jesse's um outfits so that was really adorable there's a couple boxes in here because i kind of already pulled some things out um but haven't used them so we'll get into the contents of this in just one second there was one bigger item that didn't fit in there that I want to mention before I forget and it was the wet and wild wish upon a cloud like sponge holder thing I thought this was really really adorable I didn't pick up the palette or like a ton of things from this collection I wanted more like the keepsake stuff um because they were adorable but yeah so I picked up a couple of blushes not that I need it the ones that came in these packaging here this is the jcat like what do they call these the blush mellow blushers I have one in my drawer I think it's like the apricot one I'll grab it yeah so I have this one in the shade dolly peach which I've used a bunch you can kind of see inside it's more of a summer blush it's very bright but it's really really pretty and like they're super easy to use if you're like wanting to get into um like cream type blushes it's it's kind of like a cream to powder situation with these so they're really really cool and I like that about them um let me just grab my little rag to clean my hands off so with that said, I picked up two like faller, like fall time shades that I thought were cute. The first one is Thank You Very Much. And this is what she looks like. Um, let's swatch her out. She's like a brownie pink color, which is really cute. Let me see if I can make that show up a little bit more. And the texture on these are really, really cool. It's like bouncy and it kind of reminds me of like the MAC Glow Play or the um, Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur. I think that's what they're called. Bounce and Blur blushes. Um, and then this one I got was Berries and Cream. Let's swatch that one out. And that's what she looks like. So I'm really excited to kind of play with those. Um, I also picked up some 
but in wild state by the bell stuff but as you can see they got destroyed at the packaging i was kind of disappointed so a couple things came i think this and like one other thing came in a box by itself and literally one bubble that was popped so <laughs> obviously they broke i'm not gonna return these because obviously they're really inexpensive and i mean what's the point but that happened um i also picked up another one of these essence palettes i have all of them now i think <laughs> including this one this is um i'm getting blush like all over it um i like to mob it which is the purple one i didn't get this before because i thought like the silvery gray one was the was gonna be like too similar and i wasn't gonna want this one but i found myself still wanting it so i picked it up they're 3.99 and these are absolutely amazing i've tried the elf ones so many times i'm pretty sure i have a video of me trying the elf ones and didn't really like them at all that sometimes i had like four of the palettes and i think i found like one good shade and two of the palettes and the other ones were duds for me all together so these i haven't found a dud in any of the shadows so i really love them i picked up two of the new milani um, what are they calling these i forgot they're two of the milani new looks lipsticks there was a third one that i wanted but i couldn't get it it was already sold out so i got the shade 250 desire and 260 sensual and so this is desire let's see right here probably That's what she looks like. And then, let's see, this one was like a really deep shade. Beautiful. So I'm excited to use those. I'm really like, I don't know why I buy lipstick sometimes because I really don't wear it very often, but it is what it is. That's I do it anyway. I picked up one of the lip oils. There were three of them in the Pixar collection. This is like the Finding Nemo theme one and the shade Tangerine, which was really cute. It just has like little corals on it. I picked up this. This came in a box and I did throw away the box. I swatched this. This is the KVD Dazzle Stick and I got it in the shade Lightning Strike and it's absolutely beautiful. I will swatch that out this is like so wet looking um it's like absolutely unbelievable how pretty it looks and i kind of like that it's in like this lipstick format situation because i kind of feel like you can apply it like that and then just kind of blend it i picked up a couple morphe brushes not that i really need it anymore i these are like all dusty looking because of the broken blushes that were in there so i picked up another one of the m506 which is one of my favorite brushes and then these two were more like something i wanted to try the m332 fluffy crease brush and then the m330 what do they call this one the blending crease brush so i wanted to try those i picked up a couple shades of the jumbo nyx sticks these are becoming popular again i have the black one and the white one and i do use those very rarely but as like an eyeshadow primer base but i wanted to try like other shades so i picked up yogurt and ice mocha and donut so let's open these and swatch them i've been waiting to swatch them with you guys so i'm very excited so this is donut it's the purple one it's pretty has like a cute shimmer to it 
Now, if you didn't know this about me, on occasion I do use shadow sticks. I haven't done it on camera, but like I've done it for like work and stuff. I have a couple wet and wild ones that I use. Mostly the brown one. I wish I knew the name offhand, but I have a brown one that I would use like in my crease. And then I would go in with like a, a cream shadow if I'm like doing a very quick look. I thought about picking up some matte ones, but I really want to see those in person before I pick those up. I'm pulling so hard to get this out. This one is Iced Mocha. And that's like a taupey brown. That's very pretty. That's like something I would kind of wear all over the lid. And then call it like a one and done shadow. And then this one is yogurt. Which I thought would be like a good like inner corner highlight situation. It's like a icy taupe. So I'm excited to try those. This is like all covered in dust from those blushes. But these are the Wet n Wild 4-Piece Eyeliner Set Starry Eyes. Um, and they're so freaking cute. I do like their lip liners. So I thought, let's try the eyeliners. Let's see what they look like. All right, so now that they're out of the packaging, you can see all the cute little stars on there and clouds. And it came with four shades. The blue one here is called Sky High. Let's see. Oh, that glide on, glided on really, really quickly, which is nice. That's an icy blue. Then we have this white one called Cloud Life. They are very, very creamy. Like they just glide right on. The yellow one's called Sunshine. And that's like a gold. And then we have this pink one called Daydreamer. And that is like a matte pink. Very, very pretty. All right, let's see what other goodies I got in here. This was the third Wet n Wild blush set that I got, and it actually didn't come broken. This is the Wet n Wild It's All Right Glow Face Duo. Obviously, this is the Saved by the Bell collection, which I'm old enough to, to say that I watched that when it was, like, on all the time. <laughs> like, a current thing. Um, so it came with two shades in here. I don't see myself using this bubblegum pink, but I really like that berry color. And for the price, I was like, even if it's just one, it seems pretty reasonable. I'm going to swatch just the berry one because really I don't care for the other one. Well, maybe you want to see it. So that's the berry one swatched there. It feels very creamy, the blush. We'll go into the pink side. I just see that being very chalky. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Very chalky pink. Um, the berry tone is really, really pretty. So I picked up two of the Jaclyn Cosmetics um, new shimmer top coat gel. I like the gel fination scintillation. I got the shades Glisten and Frozen. Let's see. You know, I have a bad habit of buying these kind of things and then I don't use them that frequently. So this is what the packaging looks like. Her packaging is so pretty. It's frosted with the silver top. I kind of wish it was like gold like all her other ones just so that it all looks the same but I think everything on this holiday collection was silver so this one is frozen and this is what she looks like beautiful I'm gonna swatch her oh 
look at that I'm just gonna swatch on the inside of my hand cuz oh my god the other sides covered that is stunning stunning it has like a really beautiful like chocolate brown and then like gold sparkles on it gorgeous all right so let's try <laughs> this one is glisten which they kind of look kind of similar on face value but let's see and that's what this one looks like and we'll swatch it this one's definitely lighter it has a similar vibe like it has a more of a copper base I guess with the gold glitter on top very very pretty both of them I think I like just on like like appearance alone frozen a little bit more that darker shade I just think it's so unique um anyway to my collection it is so that's pretty what else do I have here oh I got all three of the <laughs> Pixar blushes this is the hide and shriek which is the monsters ink one and then we have to the to infinity and beyond which is the toy story one there we go this one I love the color on that like the most it has like a little bit like warmth to it like a terracotta and there's like a matte shade and then a shimmer shade I think that's all of them this one's like a more rosy tone shade as you can see and then the last one is like the berry one which is the finding Nemo and this one's beautiful and then what else we got in here uh, I picked up a Ulta Beauty single like um what do they call these the bounce eye the bouncy eyeshadow and I picked it up in champagne sorbet and this is what she looks like we'll swatch her this is more like a topper shade but it definitely feels like very wet and that's what it looks like right there it's really really pretty let me see if I can swatch it on my other side of my hand just because with my complexion it'll pop more as opposed to maybe not this is what it looks like it's super super pretty it's very like thin and like wet looking I picked out the new Anastasia this came in like the broken thing you can see all the dustiness on it this is the ABH magic touch concealer and I got the shade 13 we'll see if this will actually like be good for me it looks pretty good the tube is enormous like like comparing it to even like my tart <laughs> just the size looks crazy let me see it comes with point four fluid ounces so just a little bit more I guess than the tart so that's pretty cool I'm excited to try that out and then the last items in the haul are the Pixar palettes so the first one let me make some space here the first one is the Toy Story one and they call this you got a friend in me and I just love the little lettering here and like the packaging is so simple and this is what the palette looks like it does come with a mirror which is quite nice it is very very neutral I found that all of these palettes were really neutral I'm not a neutral gal typically but I again pick them up more about the sentiment than about what was inside this one though I was a little disappointed so this is the monsters ink theme one that's called we scare because we care which um, if you've seen the movie and it has obviously the characters here on the front so this is what the inside looks like I don't know about you guys but when I went on the site I felt like these three shades were brighter than they actually are I'm surprised that they're a little bit more dull in real life but um, we'll see at some point I will play with this and see how I like it and then 
The last one is the Finding Nemo theme and it is fish are friends not food and that's what the little chant is when they go to the shark AA meeting <laughs> and this is what this one looks like. Again a very neutral palette with a pop of blue and a pop of yellow um, but I still think that they're so adorable they're worth having. So that is everything that I purchased in my Ulta haul for my birthday month and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a thumbs down that's fine as well. If you are interested please hit that subscribe button and until next time love you guys bye Thank you.